as an actor, I kind of play the same roles all the time. I'm of the ilk to play the kind of introvert, and I kind of got to a point where I was like, I wanted to maybe do something different, and um, I don't know, I kind of saw a bunch of bad movies in a row, and then it was like, I don't know, I love movies, and maybe wanted to give it a go, so that, that was pretty much it, to see if I could fail, to test myself. Yeah, I mean, Jim, the character, is loosely, I suppose, based on my experiences as a child. I always thought that, and this was like the main the main theme for the movie, I suppose, that when I was young, that it was a race to be cool, and that, like, being cool was the best way to be in school, but I, I didn't really, I don't really know how that's achievable, because everybody's trying so hard, um, and cool is probably people that don't try. Um, so, yeah, it was... I was kind of stuck in a, in a limbo, I suppose, as a teenager, where I didn't really know where I belonged. So it kind of, I suppose, stemmed from that. And also, I brought it on myself because I was just so boring. Like, if I'd have done more, I probably would have been more entertaining to my peers. And um, so, yeah, pretty much that. I, I, like, yeah, Punch Drunk Love, again, was a, a, a reference for the soundtrack, especially for the first 30 minutes, because the first act runs slightly too long and we're in Jim, Jim's world and it's slightly boring. Um, so we kind of wanted the same repetitive don't, don't, like that kind of thing. And sometimes the key is out of key sometimes. It's not like, it doesn't really sound right. And the, the, the aim was to, by the end of it, for it to correct itself and that the music would be sounding fine to like Jim. Uh, and then the, the music when the American comes in, I love Twin Peaks and and that kind of feel, so we just kind of wanted this, we got this like young cool band to do this music um, and yeah, it was uh, the, the, the composer Michael Price was just so good and uh, also the, mo the movie changes tone, it gets a lot darker so we wanted that to be the case and uh, the film noir within the movie, The Piper's Revenge, we wanted the, the almost yeah, the noir music to then seep into the real movie so that it was all becoming blurred as to what's real and what's fantasy. I like David Lynch because a lot of it doesn't make sense to me and when it doesn't make sense I find it more entertaining. A lot of films make sense and that sometimes gets boring I suppose. Um, also you know like uh, I suppose Paul Thomas Anderson but like Punch Drunk Love is such a fantastic movie because it's you know, it's funny, it's very funny, but, you know, underneath the fabrication of comedy, there's this kind of, there's this guy having a breakdown and a psychological breakdown, which I thought was very interesting. Um, three words to describe the movie would be uh, funny, I hope, um, dark and surreal. That's not very commercial. That's not going to do me favours.